Hey, Lionel back. Uh, said I had a video. I forgot. I looked at my notebook. This was the last video. So, uh, first video was sort of a, uh, you know, just kind of a response conversation about uh, Heroes video, which I do respect quite a bit. Um, second video was a review of Rose Oud by the House of Killian, my favorite fragrance from that house. Um, my third video was the Serge Lutens review, uh, Shergi. Um, once I get Ombre Sultan, uh, I'll definitely be uh, reviewing it if I get it this year. Um, and this video is about um, talking about fragrance houses. So, uh, real quick, um, here, here's what I've seen historically. I mean, since I've been doing this, you know, typically somebody makes a video, you know, and they're real good in the presentation. Um, you know, guys run out and buy it. Um, then I see guys, you know, selling stuff, doing whatever. Um, then I see, but mostly what I see, I, I think my greatest concern is this. Uh, we, we would call us a fragrance lovers, but for the most part, uh, you know, at, at least from the Facebook fragrance and what I see, um, you know, people are really jumping on the same old stuff, right? You know, now I've seen, I, I, I think I've seen five or six liters of Aventus split, you know, in the last six months or so, maybe, um, you know, that's, that's quite a bit. So, I mean, you know, everyone's wearing Aventus now. Everybody's talking about Aventus and what it's doing. So, um, as I said in my first video, I mean, I typically wear fragrances as an extension of who I am. I, I, I want to project a certain persona. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to drop panties or impress my wife because, again, I mean, she's she's more impressed with uh, Windex. <laughs> Somebody said pure Windex on my, on my one of my videos, and it's pretty funny. Yeah, my wife is more impressed by pure pine saw and pure Windex than she is pure malt. So, um, but here, here's what I want you to do. I, I want to talk about a few fragrance houses and, and, and really get, get your nose on some stuff because I really want you guys to experience fragrances. One is called Sonoma Scent Studio. Hopefully, uh, Clay, if you're watching this video, uh, Q and Aaron, if you all, if you guys are watching this video, man, put a first impression video, do something, you know, because they're sending uh winter woods. Uh, which is one of the most popular scents uh, from Sonoma Scent Studio. Uh, I'll post little links down at the bottom in the comment section, uh, in the de you know description, whatever you call it. Um, the next one is called CJ Scents. Uh, they're a fragrance house in Michigan, much like Kerosene. As a matter of fact, I don't think she's too far from Kerosene if I think about it. Uh, she offers an array of fragrances, and her prices are very, very reasonable. Sonoma Scent could be a bit expensive, depending on what you look at a per meal basis. Um, but, you know, th there are a lot of natural perfumes. I mean, they're high concentration EDPs. So, um, you know, she's borderline extract, maybe, in her in her, in her scent. So, that's one. Um, uh, CJ Scents, uh, which I just stumbled across now, and I think, uh, I think today I'm going to buy Amber Coffee. Um, it's a very lovely house. I've heard quite a bit. I did a bunch of research on it over the past two days once I figured out about it. And the reviews overall throughout the, you know, different communities, Makeup Alley and, and different bloggers give this, this house very, very good, which called, she's an independent. She sells in little, like what we call decant bottles with a little label on the front. Uh, but her prices are about $27, uh, for a 30 mil bottle shipped. Uh, right now, she's offering free shipping. So just look at the list. Things that really interest me is our Veta Rose, um, Vanilla, uh, uh, I think it's called Vanilla Autumn Nights, and then uh, Amber Coffee, and then she has another Amber scent, which is an incense-based Amber scent. I'm a big fan of Amber, so I'm definitely going to buy a bottle from her. Number one, because you know I really want to try to scent, but number two is because you know I really want to support some of these indie houses. There are a lot of people out there, and I don't want these people to go out of business. I want them to keep going and stretching and pushing the limits of fragrances. So that's another one. The third one is Ave Lux, um, and uh, my man Cruz is selling uh, uh, one of his fragrances from her. It's the EDP 15 Mills. Uh, I think she's out of Massachusetts. Um, very nice house. Heard a lot, and I'm looking at from her house. I'm looking at a scent called uh, uh, um, Ambra Ambra Tibet. Uh, which is one of her, uh, which is highly raised, but there's quite a few others that people just absolutely love from this house. Uh, so that's another one. I'll put that one down there too. Um, it was one more I had. Oh, then you have some people that, that aren't really small houses, but just doesn't really get a lot of recognition around here. Uh, Histories de Perfume. Uh, very lovely house. Very, very lovely house. Very lovely since 1740, uh, 1828. 
1969 Nora Patchouli and my favorite Andre 114, which I've raved about um, very, very lovely since. So here, here's what I want. I challenge you guys to just step outside of the realm of the norm. If you're, if you're going to be a lover of fragrance, I mean, if you're just uh, trying to drop panties, if you're just trying to get attention from girls, then maybe you want to avoid these scents. But if you really want to get your nose experienced and really want to try some scents, and a lot of people have sent me a lot of samples from a lot of different places, um, get on a get on a Facebook friends uh, list. Go over there, Facebook fragrance friends, and you what you're gonna get is a more robust, more these people are older than us, and they've been around these fragrances for 30, 25, 40 years. They've been wearing fragrances, and I mean they really have their nose on some stuff, and they really know their stuff. So. And they've helped me a lot over the last few months just research a bunch of different stuff that I've never even heard of. So anyway, that's my challenge. My challenge to you guys is to really go out there and experience the fragrance. Um, you know, appreciate the artistic view of it. You know, even if it's just samples, you know, go get some samples. Don't 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 jump on what everybody else is doing. You know, be unique. Try to be distinct. Try to wear something that everybody else isn't wearing. Um, and you may come to love fragrances a lot more. That's my perspective on it. I greatly appreciate you guys watching me today. Uh, you guys have a good one. Peace.